Hello everyone, my name is Alex Hamer and this video will delve into what the cloud series of videos from the Pegasus project will entail. There will essentially be tutorials on how to understand the basics of how I use the new cloud simulation and modeling capabilities in Houdini 20 to create the cloudscape for Project Pegasus. Firstly, I'm going to cover the new Skybox node to create different types of cloudscapes over an environment. The Skybox node allows the creation of a box in which you can then apply billowy, alligator and wispy noise, as well as some animation and density control. So you can essentially craft an entire cloudscape with one node. Then I'm going to go into more detail and utilize and show off the basics of how to use all of the other new nodes and capabilities with clouds. So there will be a video creating one big hero cloud with a process involving nearly all of the new tools. These involve the new cloud modeling nodes, which allow you to procedurally generate initial cloud shapes or to take a mesh and replicate it with primitives, which can then be turned into cloud volumes. Additionally, we also gain access to some new noise types specific to clouds and their distinctive appearance. Firstly, billowy noise, which creates that puffy swelling look and wispy noise, which creates that strandy cotton ball effect. Both of these have an insane amount of customizability along with them and allow for multiple displacement iterations, noise passes, and how many fractal iterations to control how much detail the output has, as at the end of the day, what these essentially are is fractal functions. We also get some utilities to adjust the density profile of the edges and interior of the clouds, as well as a clipping tool which enables users to, at the basic level, apply a flat bottom profile to a cloud shape, which can be broken up by noise displacement to have realistic variation, and at a more advanced level, create masks to apply specific noises to. Each of these videos will also cover how to export these clouds as VDBs from Houdini. I hope to also release some additional videos in the future, which will go into much more detail of how to push the volumetric cloud system in Unreal to its limits, such as how to draw render targets to the volumetric cloud system, how to read render targets as 3D textures, as well as getting VDB files to be transformable objects within the volumetric cloud material. These tools that will be covered in the videos that are going to be released are all ones that were used to construct the cloudscape within the Project Pegasus environment. More information about this, as well as some other amazing videos and tutorials discussing Houdini digital assets, procedural generation, and much more, can be found on the Project Pegasus page on the SideFX website. That's all for this video. I hope this series helps you get your first step into using these new tools. Thank you for watching.